Hey guys, it's Laurie, and I have a review of some 1803 candle products to share with you today. So, um, in my last video, or after I posted my last video, a lady who, I guess she's in charge of social media for the company, contacted me and uh, said that, you know, she enjoyed my review and said that the company wanted to send me um, some products uh, as a thank you for, you know, doing the review. And um, so that was very exciting <laughs> and very generous of them. Um, so I have some of that stuff to show you. And then I also uh, placed a placed an order, a fairly large order, um, to get some more things that I wanted to try. So I'm not going to tell you what I ordered and what the company sent me just because um, I don't want people to get upset about, you know, the value of the products that they sent. Um, I'm just going to, you know, this is strictly for reviewing purposes so that you'll have some ideas of what, uh, what you might like to order from the company. Actually, right now they're having a 20% off uh, site-wide sale from now until December 4th. So, you know, I, I did want to make sure that you guys um, got some ideas about these things. Because these fragrances, I think, except for one of them, they were all new to me. So, um, I want to be able to share what they smell like with you so that you know what to order for the sale. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, you can see I have burning a candle. This one is in the scent Lemon Drop Cookies. And I have to say that the scent is really good. Um, this, I'm, I'm kind of picky about lemon scents. Uh, but there's like one particular lemon scent that I've had from some independent vendors before. And I really, really love it. It's my favorite lemon scent. And this is it. So, um, very, very good. It's like, it's like the night, a nice balance of like a sugary and tart lemon. It doesn't kind of go towards either side. It's just right in the middle. And then there's like a little bit of a, like a cookie or cake note or something to go along with it. So absolutely love this scent and um, this candle this is my first time burning it it's been throwing really well so um, I definitely recommend picking up lemon drop cookie um, if you're into lemon bakery scents okay I'll go ahead and show you kind of what's on top um, I did okay in my order well I'll show you this other mm, I don't know maybe I'll show it now Okay, so like I said, in my I placed a fairly large order and they did send me a couple of samples of things and then an additional um, surprise, which was nice. Uh, they sent me, oh, and this was a, this order was over $100, so I don't know if that's what um, you have to, you have to purchase at least 100 to get some of these things that they sent, because um, I certainly didn't get this in my last two orders which were both under 100 but one of the things they sent was a sample of the mrs claus's snickerdoodle cookies coffee and this is a whole bean coffee well they send it to you as a whole bean and um so i use actually use it already and i really liked it it normally i'm not a fan of flavored coffees just because i find they they taste kind of artificial uh, but this one was very good. It was very smooth. Um, the flavoring on it was um, kind of, I don't know the right word. I don't want to say subtle because I did detect it, but it wasn't like in your face like a lot of the flavored coffees have. So I think that's why it didn't taste, you know, artificial like I've had in the past. So um, I'd actually be interested in trying some more of their flavored coffee. I might have to pick up a bag at some point um yeah so that that's kind of cool that they sent that and they also sent me they sent me some soaps which I think I've received soap samples in every order but this one they sent me a ton they uh they gave me uh oh I 
missing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is all of it? I know they've like consistently sent me soap samples and mistletoe kisses. And I think they sent me a bunch of them. I can't remember exactly. It was at least like four samples that I got between my order and the goodies that they sent. Um, and so I've been actually giving those to people. Um, I really like the mistletoe kisses soap. It's like chock full of like herbal, like herbs, dried herbs. And it just smells amazing. Uh, and I've really enjoyed using it. I actually bought myself a, like a whole bar. That's how much I liked it. And it's just great. So, um, in fact, um, I did just place another order for the, the sale and I got another bar that I'm going to give to my grandmother because I think she's really going to like that. Um, okay. And then they sent me this, this is lavender buds. I don't, did I, I'm sorry if I've actually reviewed these. I can't remember which orders all of these came in, but, um, this is the lavender buds scent. And I've gotten like two samples of these. And this to me is, I get like quite a bit of lemon from this actually. It's very, very nice. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. It's very like energizing. This is like a great aromatherapy type of scent. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then they sent me... This one is, you can't see the label because it kind of got torn when I opened it, but this is Spring Rain, which is, smells just like if you remember uh, Bath and Body Works sent green clover and aloe from way back in the day. This is what that smells like. It's, it's a sweet green clover scent. Very nice. And then they also sent me a sample in the soap of oats and honey, um, which is t your typical like oatmeal and honey type of scent if you're, or oatmeal, milk, and honey type of scent. So um, everybody who's ever smelled that should be familiar with this one. And then, not only all of that, but they had sent me in my order, sorry, oh, I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. It's a, um, it's a tote bag, like a canvas tote that has their logo on it. And um, it's, I don't know how big this is actually, but it's got like some handles. Um, how big would I estimate that? I guess it's about a foot, like a foot and a half tall by maybe a one and a quarter feet wide or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very nice. I've been putting my, I've been storing all my wax melts in it. So, um, oops, I wanted to put that up there cause they send you like these really nice printed cards, uh, whenever you order. So very cool. Um, I could not believe all the stuff that they sent in this order. Okay. So now I'm going to show you, let me put lemon drop cookies back over here because I'm not going to be able to put up, display all of the, um, the candles where I'm, where I'm filming today. Uh, there's a lot here. Okay. So, uh, we'll start with, um, let's see. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nantucket Breeze, which was one um, that I thought that I would like for the spring. Because, um, yeah, I'm kind of getting in the mood to smell very, like, fresh and clean scents. And Nantucket Breeze is like an, an ozone, a watery ozone type scent or like a salt water type scent. Um, it doesn't have, a lot of those scents have like a floral note to them. This one does not have that. It's like pure kind of salt, salty sea air 
type of fragrance. So this is really nice. I could actually see myself getting a jar, a, a candle in this one. So, and it's really pretty. Look at the, um, they put like, I don't know what exactly that is. It looks like some kind of like a petal or something in the wax. So very nice. Uh, I got spring rain. This is the, like the soap, that kind of green clover and aloe type scent. And this is what that looks like. It's got some more petals and leaves in there. Very nice. This is, oops. Next up is Home by the Fire. And it's got like some, I, guess, I think that's juniper or fur needles or something in there with like some dried, I don't know what that is. Um, this scent smells very similar to like Bath and Body Works Winter or Yankees um, Cozy by the Fire. It's got that like fireplace note with the orange and a little bit of the spices. It's very, very comforting. Um, so yeah, that one, um, that one is nice. If you like winter, like I said, you'll like that one. And I guess I'm going to try to do the spring and summer type fragrances first, because that's what I seem to be pulling. This one is summer festival. And this one, the description says it's like cotton candy and lemonade and I think some kind of like bakery or something. Um, this one to me smells exactly like pink sugar. I don't know if there's something else blended in there, but that's exactly what I get from this scent. So very nice. If you like pink sugar, that's the way to go. Okay, I think the rest are kind of like fall and winter type scents in the, oh look, I just found my mistletoe kisses sample. Look at how pretty that is. There's like all these like color striations and um, like I said, little pieces of dried herbs in there. Very beautiful. All right, so we have cranberry cupboard and this one, I had a feeling when I read the description that this was similar to their pine needles and berries scent, which I picked up in a previous order in a candle form. And it is in fact uh, similar. I don't know if it's supposed to be the same, but it smells the same to me. And it's just like a, a nice, warm, sweet cranberry scent with, with spices added. So uh, I like this one quite a bit. Um, Okay, this is Cookie Kitchen. And this one I think is supposed to be a combination of like, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have like an oatmeal cookie kind of smell. And it's nice, I get like vanilla and some cinnamon. Um, it doesn't smell that different from, well, okay, maybe wood stove pie is similar, but that's a kind of a thicker, more custardy kind of scent. Whereas this is more, I don't know how to just, how to describe the difference. It is different. It's not as heavy as wood stove pie is. So that's nice. I ended up getting, um, I purchased a, a jar candle in this for the sale. Okay, hearth cakes. This is one I was on the fence about because it's described as being like a snickerdoodle cookie kind of scent. And um, I don't know, I just thought it wasn't gonna be all that exciting. Well, boy was I wrong. I put this thing in my warmer in the living room and it is just absolutely amazing. It's delicious. It is like authentic snickerdoodle type fragrance. It's, it 
makes my mouth water when I smell this. So I definitely grabbed a, um, a jar of this for the sale. Highly recommend this one. I'm not sure how the candle's gonna be with the wax melt was very strong. Then I have caramel corn. Um, and this one is just like you would think it would be. Um, it's like a caramel popcorn type of scent. Very good, um, delicious. Then I have shoe fly pie. This one I believe is supposed to be like, I think I read on their blog that it's one of their scents that's always a bestseller or something. Um, it's got this, okay, a lot of you probably are not gonna be familiar with this, but there's a fragrance that the some of the independents, independent wax vendors sell called, uh, I know Candles from the Keeping Room has it, it's Country Sweet Rolls or Country Sweet Muffins or something like that. It's got like this gooey, bready kind of scent to it combined with um, like a sugary, glaze I guess um this is what that one smells like it's interesting because I loved it I love that type of scent at first and then it got kind of I don't know I was burning it a lot and I got I think I got kind of burnt out on it but um yeah this this is pretty good um I do enjoy this one Okay, this one is Mom's Kitchen, and I can't remember what all the notes in this are supposed to be. Um, <sighs> this one's hard to describe. Again, it's like it's like spicy bakery, but some of the spices are a little bit different. Sorry. Some of the spices are different from what I have smelled in their other fragrances. It's, oh, you know what? I think it's supposed to have caramel in it. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? It just occurred to me. Shoe fly pie. One of the fragrances that's very distinct in this type of scent is the butterscotch. Yeah, it's a butterscotch kind of scent in there. Um... But anyway, back to Mom's Kitchen. It's like a spicy caramel, vanilla kind of scent. Very good. I like this one as well. Okay, this is grated cinnamon. And this one smells like um, Bath & Body Works Cinnamon and Clove Buds or Yankee's Holiday Home Sweet Home. It's a very heavy... Kind of scent there's a lot of clove in this it's not very sweet um this is a scent like it it always amazes me because when i smell this type of scent cold i don't like how do i how do i like that but then i warm it or burn it and i love it so it really needs to be this fragrance does not come to life until you um you warm it up so um if you like a heavy, spicy scent, you'll like that one. Then I have Grandma's Kitchen. This one I have not melted yet, but it's definitely like oatmeal, oatmeal cookie. It's not as heavy on the spice as Cookie Kitchen is. And it's not as sweet smelling it cold. Yeah, it's kind of like, I think of like oatmeal cookie dough when I smell this. Whereas, let's see, going back to Cookie Kitchen. Where's Cookie Kitchen? Cookie Kitchen's definitely sweeter. Um, it's less doughy, too. Okay, then I have 
peppermint bark. And this one I gotta show you the, um, the inside because it's got like, I think they actually put like melted like or peppermint pieces in the wax, which is really cool. And it looks like it got maybe a little bit melted in shipping. But um, yeah, this is like just like a, a peppermint. I would describe this more as a peppermint marshmallow. I don't detect a lot of like chocolate in it. But yeah, I would say it's like a peppermint vanilla or a peppermint marshmallow. It's it's pretty sweet. It's sweeter than, um, say, like Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint. And it's not, but it's not bakery like their peppermint marshmallow. Their peppermint marshmallow has like a cake kind of scent to it. This one doesn't have that. So um, anyway, very, very nice. I would probably like to have a jar of that at some point. And I have Cider Mill. This one has like a dried apple peel in it. And this is basically a very sweet apple with some spice. Um, it's, it's very comforting. Um, I like this one quite a bit too. I would probably I'd like to have this in a jar. I think it's like, I don't know, it's just my kind of apple because of that, the sweetness and then also the little bit of spice that it has to it. Okay, buttered rum. This one is yummy. I want to get a jar of this. Yeah, I mean, it smells just like a buttered rum kind of scent. Um, if you've smelled, you know, Bath and Body Works hot buttered rum, oh, and Yankees hot buttered rum, you know, this is, is pretty much the same thing, so I like that a lot. I picked up, oh, I missed a spring scent. Um, I picked up Graham Cracker, and this is part of their discontinued, one of their discontinued scents. To me, this smells more like just a straight up gingerbread type of fragrance like an authentic gingerbread so um, it's not I don't know just comparing it to Yankees I think I find this one to be more authentic than Yankees so uh, but that yeah that's graham cracker royal sugar cookie uh, this one is delicious so it's basically like they're kind of straight up sugar cookie scent and I put some little sparkles on it it smells like like a frosted sugar cookie um, there's an oil that the the independent wax vendors use called frosted sugar cookie and that's what this smells like and it's delicious it's a little bit buttery very sweet um, just yummy like a soft sugar cookie. Then we have orange caramel scone. This one is very cool. On the inside it is. It's got like some, I don't know if those are like dried orange peels and then it's got clove buds in it and I'm kind of surprised at this one. I'm not normally a fan of orange scents but this has enough or orange bakery, I should say, but this has enough spice to it to make it smell more just like orange spice. So, um, yeah, I like that. Another very, very cozy scent that's going to be perfect for the, uh, the winter. And this one, you know, I, I think I might actually consider getting this one in a jar. So, nice. Leaves, petals, and vines. Oh my goodness, I, I did pick this one up in a jar. Um, this is a blend of florals. I think it's like herbs and lavender, and I forget what else. There's what that looks like, and it is amazing. You definitely get the lavender, but there's some other stuff in there. It's very clean. Um... 
yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Very natural smelling. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, then this is peppermint marshmallow. So I think this is supposed to be like their peppermint bark scent blended with coffee. And I was tempted to get this in a jar, but there were so many other things that I wanted that I said, you know, I'll, I'll save this for later. Um, but that's really pretty right there. And it smells delicious. You get, in this one, you do get some chocolate and you get a tiny, tiny bit of the coffee. So I love it. Uh, then I have Farmhouse Brew. I had picked this up in a previous order and I really like the scent. It's um, mostly what you get from this is that kind of strong coffee scent that I'm trying to think. Swan Creek has a scent called Roasted Espresso that's like it's my favorite coffee scent. Um, it is just very robust and delicious and this is pretty much what that smells like so um, I do want to eventually get farmhouse brew in a jar candle because I love it and then finally this um, as far as the wax melts goes in my last video I talked about how I had ordered this and they accidentally sent me Christmas at the farm instead um, so they did send, I had contacted them, they, they replaced, or they sent me, you know, the one they missed, Christmas in the Mountains. And I think this is Christmas at the farm, but with like coffee added. Um, it's very good. This one's got a nice coffee scent too. And I did pick up Christmas in the Mountains and Christmas at the farm in jars for this, um, this order I just placed. So, okay, then I have some medium-sized candles so this one didn't come with a label on it but this is yuletide cinnamon and it's basically the exact same scent as um, grated cinnamon um, and it comes with you can see like the sparkles and let me tell you these candles with the sparkles on top are gorgeous when they burn just amazing I'm gonna have to film a video to show you so that's yuletide cinnamon um, this is pumpkin hollow which can't remember all the notes in this um, it's like a bakery pumpkin yeah it's like pumpkin spice with what else is in there I detect some clove but also I want to say was there like caramel in here I'm sorry I'm not even showing you this right I get a lot of clove from this but yeah, also, I think maybe some caramel or something. Um, that one's very good. I'm excited to burn that one. Then I have Old Brick Hearth. This is one that's um, in the discontinued section. And it the scent just really, you know, intrigued me. And it's weird because this is kind of, it's, it's different from like Home by the Fire. And it's not like a strictly fire note there's something about this that does remind me of like a brick fire um i don't know quite how to describe it it's uh this one is not probably not going to appeal to everyone just because that note it's a little bit sour and astringent but yeah this is like i said it's very different and there's something about it that just smells like it makes me think of a brick fireplace as opposed to you know another kind of fire okay this is salt box blossoms and this is supposed to be a <sighs> lilac is it lilac and I forget what else is in here so I love the name of it I thought it was it was really neat so I had to pick it up and Ooh, mama, this is strong. This is like almost burns my nose to smell this one. Um, it's very, very astringent. I don't know if like, I mean, you do get florals in it. Um, but yeah, this is, 
I don't know if this is supposed to smell this way, but it's very... I don't know how to describe it. I'll have to burn it and see if it, you know, retains that, like I said, nose burning quality. But, um, yeah, lilac is what I get mostly from this. Then we have comfort and joy, which is supposed to be like spices and orange and I forget what else. Oh, and this is one I haven't burned it yet. So you can see the the glitter on the top. This is very nice. It's kind of like potpourri. It's sweet, like a sweet orange and spice. I like this one a lot. I hope that does well. And then I've got three of their medium jars to show you. This one is sugared shortbread. So this is like some kind of, I guess, shortbread cookie blended with a coffee scent and it smells very good. It's um, similar to Farmhouse Brew, but the coffee on this one is toned down. I mostly get, not mostly, but it's more balanced. And then, sorry. This is Cedarwood Orchard, which is supposed to be like an apple and wood type scent. This candle is so unbelievably strong. Um, it blew me away. This is probably their strongest candle that I've, I've burned so far. Um, on cold, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Bath & Body Works Cider Lane, but without the heavy caramel note. It does seem like there's a touch of caramel in here, though. Um, in fact, the longer that I burned it, the more it started to smell like a caramel apple scent. But I do really enjoy this fragrance. It's very nice. So, um, if you want a strong, if you're looking for a strong candle from them, this one is the way to go. Oh, I meant to say that sugar short, shortbread is fairly strong too. I usually, um, I think have been burning this one. Well, in a couple different places, and it does better when it's in a smaller room. But it does have, you know, I would say a, a medium throw to it. And then finally, this is Vintage Lilac. So, um, this one, similar to the Saltbox Blossoms, but it's softer, and um, it's really just kind of a straight up lilac. So if you like um, and have burned other lilac scents before, you'll know what this one smells like. So um, yeah, so that is it. Um, I guess some general recommendations um, for things to pick up. This, if you're really wanting something strong, if you're a candle burner, you want something strong, I would stick with like the spices and the woods and um, the coffee fragrances. Um, if you're more like a vanilla person or a softer kind of, yeah, vanilla bakery person, you may want to go with the wax melts because so far I have um, found that those types of scents in wax melts burn 